Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. I am your host Guillermo. It is October 3rd. Hope you're all having a great weekend so far. Let me know in the comment section below if you think tomorrow will be a red day or a green day in the stock market. Now in today's video, I want to talk about a costless strategy that you can use in the market that's better than outright buying the stock. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So before I get into that, all I ask is that you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe guys. It really helps out the channel. Talk about what our goal here is today. Our goal here is to ensure that we benefit from rising price action in the underlying stock while at the same time protecting us, the trader, from the risk that the underlying asset will fall to a certain price in the future. So in other words, the ideal situation for this is you want to buy a stock, but you would like to buy it at a cheaper price than it's currently at. However, if in the case that the stock price starts to go up, the stock price rises, you also want to be able to profit from that movement, okay? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose ticker symbol PLUG. This is plug power. And again, remember, this is just an example I'm showing you here, guys, so that you understand and can see kind of how this looks like. This is not an actual alert or anything like that, so please don't copy this exact same trade here. But let's say with plug power, I want to potentially buy 100 shares of this stock, but I want to potentially buy it cheaper than what it's currently at, right? I don't want to pay $25.58. I want to pay less than that. However, if plug power goes up, I also want to be able to benefit from that price movement. So what can I do here? Now, first, before we get into the options, remember, we want to check commission fees and we want to check the X dividend date uh, of the stock. Why? Well, for commission fees, we are going to be opening and closing multiple contracts. That can definitely eat away at your profit. Robinhood doesn't have any commission fees, so we don't have to worry about that. But some brokers do have some pretty big commission fees. Always make sure that you're checking that. The second thing, like I mentioned, we want to check the dividend uh, of the stock. We want to check if it has a dividend. If it does, we want to check the X dividend date. We don't want to sell options that expire on the week of the X dividend date, or we're going to be early assigned most of the time. If you do sell options expiring on the X on the, on the week of the X dividend date, you want to close those options two days before the X dividend date. And again, you can choose, you can use a website like nasdaq.com. So let's say we were using Apple and I'm going to use Apple here because plug power doesn't have a dividend, but let's say we were using Apple, for example, right? We would come in here. We would click on Apple on the left. We'd click on dividend history here, and then we would take a look here at when the X dividend date is. So the last X dividend date was August 6. If we take a look in the past, it looks like the next X dividend date will be around November 6, November 7, somewhere around there. So we don't have to worry about it in the short term. So after you've checked that, then you can finally go into the options for the stock. Now, of course, the very first thing we want to do here is choose a proper expiration date for this strategy. Now, I'm just going to leave it as October 8th, but obviously you guys can modify that expiration date to what you think fits best here, okay? Now, uh, let's go into the options now. So this is actually going to involve both calls and puts, okay? And so we've chosen our expiration date here. We're going to go over to the puts first. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by selling in uh, out of the money put, okay? Now, how does selling a put work? So remember, when you sell a put, you're basically uh, going to receive a premium for selling the put. And ultimately, if on the expiration date, at the end of the day on the expiration date, the share price is under whatever strike price you chose, you're going to be forced to buy 100 shares of the stock for that price. Now, that's beneficial for us here because ultimately, if we're selling an out-of-the-money put and we get assigned, we're buying 100 uh, shares of the stock at a cheaper price than if we were to buy the stock at the at the time that we sell a put, right? Because if I if I wanted to buy 100 shares of plug right now, I would have to pay 25.58. But instead, I can sell a put at the $24 strike, and now if I am assigned, I'll, I'm only going to have to pay $24 per share, right? So it's already more beneficial that way. And remember, for selling this put, I do get a premium. I'm going to get 31 cents per share. Each contract controls 100 shares. I'm going to get $31 here of credit for selling this put. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to calls and basically we're gonna use the credit that we're receiving from selling this put to go ahead and buy an out of the money call option uh, that is the exact same as the credit we just received. So if I go up here now, I'm on the calls and I'm gonna buy one, I see that there's this call here that's also gonna cost 31 cents per share or $31 for the contract. So I would go ahead and I would buy this call, again, using the credit I received from selling the put. So I'd go ahead and click on that. So as you can see, my credit is zero, costless, right? This is why this is called the costless uh, strategy. This is a costless strategy here because it's gonna be zero dollars, as you can see here. Now, let's take a look here at what can happen. So of course, you're gonna have to put up collateral, right? Because you are selling a cash secured put. But in terms of credit, uh, it's going to be $0, so costless. Now, what's going to be our max loss? Our max loss, of course, is going to be the collateral you put up. But remember, the worst thing that happens is you get assigned 100 shares of this stock at a cheaper price than it's currently at. Now, what's the max profit here? The max profit is going to be unlimited, right? Max profit is unlimited, and you also see your break-even points. Remember, when you sell a cash secured put on its own, your max profit isn't unlimited, it's actually capped. So let's take a look here. What I wanna do is I wanna go over to the option strat and let's actually go ahead and see what this visually will look like, what your profit and losses will be depending what the date is, depending uh, what the price of the stock is, depending on what implied volatility is. So I'm gonna go over here to um, option strat and I'm gonna go to build and again, I'm just gonna start by selling the put because that's where we started. So I'm gonna go to short put here. And then what I'm gonna do is again, we chose uh, we chose ticker symbol PLUG, that's plug power. And then we chose our expiration date of October 8th. So again, we started by selling an out of the money put. We chose the $24 strike. Then we use the credit that we're receiving here, right? We're receiving $31 in credit to buy an out of the money call that costs the same as the credit we're receiving. So let's add an option, let's buy our call. Remember we chose the $27 strike. And as you can see, it's costless, it's $0. There's no debit, there's no credit, it's just $0. And so let's take a look here at what this looks like. So again, max loss is 2,400. You're gonna be assigned 100 shares uh, and our max profit is infinite, right? And then it tells us our break evens. Now this is, a, this is a, it's a long combo. A long combo would be when you're selling a naked put, meaning you're not putting up collateral, which is very risky, of course. I uh, always sell cash secured puts, in my opinion. Uh, so that's the difference between uh, what we're talking about here and the long combo. But anyways, let's take a look here at what this looks like. So again, uh, if we take a look here, Worst case thing, worst thing, you know, the, the worst thing that can happen here is you're assigned 100 shares of the stock, but you're still going to be paying less to buy those shares than if you would have bought them at the time that you entered this trade. On the upside, though, if this stock starts to rally, you have unlimited potential upside. So if for some reason, let's say plug power goes to like, uh, you know, let's say 3050, right, by the expiration date, you would make 350 bucks. Right, as you can see, the farther up it goes, the more you start to make. If I only sold this put here, the most I could make was thirty-one dollars. Right, which is not—it's not extremely uh, great. Uh, it, you know, it, it could be a lot better. Right, it could be unlimited. It could be six hundred, five fifty, four fifty. So there's a lot more upside here to doing this than just selling a cash stick here to put. And I'll get ultimately. Uh, if it does drop, you're just buying the stock at a cheaper price than what it would have been. Now, the only thing is, of course, that if it stays in the middle, right, between, for example, 24 to 27 uh, on expiration date, nothing happens. You don't lose money. You don't make money. You break even. Uh, and, of course, these two are the, obviously the strikes of the put that we're selling and the call that we're buying. So you can definitely adjust that so that you know these are closer to each other farther away from each other however you need them to be and of course we need to check implied volatility so what happens when implied volatility goes up what happens when implied volatility drops right there's not a huge change uh, but there is some change there as you can see 
So anyways, uh, that is the strategy that I wanted to talk about. As you can see, it can be very, very useful here. Um, if you have any questions about anything I just talked about, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord, link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.